So, I should be streaming now, and I have no intro for today's live stream. So, just let me know if you can see me here. I'm going to refresh the stream page and see how it comes out. And see how it comes out. It looks like I'm here. All right, great. So, <clears throat> things are working well. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Joey B Other channel. Um, let me just turn the volume down here. <laughs> Thank you so much for hopping over to this channel or just joining if you have no idea who I am. My name is Joe Barnard. Today we're playing Kerbal Space Program, and today we are going to the moon. All right. Um, hold on. Let me pop out the chat here so that we can get a good shot of KSP. I don't have to monitor too much. My computer would be working extra hard today. It'd be not loving this experience. Um, all right. Here we go. We got 67 people here. Thanks for all, thanks everyone for joining. Oh, we got 69. Nice. All right, I'm gonna drop that in the bottom there. Let me just move things around. I'll switch over to the uh, Kerbal Space Program scene. Yeah, so we're playing KSP today. Turn the music on. I love this game so much. <laughs> all right. Um, let me just make sure I can see the chat here. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming over and joining me on this. Oh, we're losing viewers. <laughs> nice. Uh, add more engines. Joey B, have you ever had problems with the clustering since the motors are so far apart and the engines have not had the same thrust output? Yeah, um, that stuff is really hard to get right, and I'm afraid I don't have very good advice on it other than you just really diligently test how you place your igniters. Okay, let's start the game here. We're going to use the same thing that we've been using uh, so far, which is the uh, the Joey B space program, B as in B-E-E, -E, like the little bug. Let me just turn off this camera over here. Make sure it's not interfering. Okay. So we're going to, yeah, no random video here today, Kenji. Um, I'm sorry to disappoint. Ooh, what's happening with our sky? Oh, I turned up the brightness settings. I forgot about this. Um, so if I time warp back to the day, uh, let me just do this really quick. I usually like to launch during the daytime. There we go. Yeah, so um, we're gonna build, um, not, not really a Saturn V so much as just a vehicle that I think can probably get to the moon. And I'm unsure if this will really work, but you know, I didn't think the SSTO worked and that worked last time. Also, I've got wine with me now. I've got some red wine and uh, I'm sorry I don't have whiskey, but this will have to do. <laughs> low res KSP, how I like it. It's not that low res. It's all right, it's slightly low res. Let's go into the VAB. Do a zero stage to orbit. <laughs> I am uh, I'm not sure of the possibility of that. So let's just do, should we try to get one Kerbal to the moon or three? <sighs> I kind of know what the answer is and I kind of regret asking because I know it's, it's not just gonna be one. I really wanna do one. Eight, I'm not doing eight. I think spin launch should be the vehicle of choice. <laughs> Michael, do you think we could build spin launch? It'd be more real than the real thing. That is for sure. Got him. All right. Oh, we're back up to 69. Nice. <laughs> just Jeb. Let's just do one. Okay, great. Enough people are on board with just one Kerbal that I, I feel okay about it. Um, also, how do, do I remember how to zoom in and out? Oh yeah, the plus and minus. Okay, so uh, we need a capsule, and we're just going to build down from there. Now, we do want to be able to land this craft, so I will go into... Oh, I always forget this stuff. I think it's under utility that we can find the parachutes. So we'll just give them a little shoot right there. <laughs> we need Jeb. All right, I will make sure it's Jeb. My goodness, it's not Jeb. Where's Jeb? Oh no. Oh no! Jeb, oh Jeb, I'm so sorry. I, no, he's not dead. 
No, no, he's not dead. Oh my god, you guys have no faith. Jeb is... <laughs> Jeb is on, no, do not, I swear to God, do not put F in the chat. Put S in the chat, please. Jeb is on, there he is, look, he's right here, I promise. We landed him with the SSTO. Can I just go to Jeb? Here we go. Go to him. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> look, here, we have the SSTO from the last time we did this mission. And there's our buddy, there's Jeb. He can go to the moon. Hey, buddy. What's up? All right, let's get him back. Bring him home. Um, how do I get Jeb back? I think it's this, recover vessel. Hopefully Jeb comes with the vessel. <laughs> what wine is it today? You know, um, that's a good question. I actually don't know. Um, I don't think it's like anything super fancy. It's just something I found at the grocery store. All right, Jeb is done. Let's go back to the VAB. We'll make sure Jeb is in the capsule. <laughs> um, looks like I didn't save anything, which is fine. Um, all right, so we've got the, that. Let's put our crew here. All right, Jeb is the default. Look, there he is. We'll use Jeb. Uh, under utility, let's grab a parachute. And then a heat shield too, because sometimes Joey B does not do a great job with the entry angle. You know, it kind of be like that sometimes. All right, there we go. And then we'll put a little stack to coupler under it. That's too small. There. Uh, yeah, like that. Jeb is our sacrifice. No, he's not. That is slanderous. Jeb is... He is, we will not sacrifice Jeb. I disagree. All right, now we'll do a little lander. Give him a little fuel tank. We don't probably need that much. Um, now let's look at our Delta V here. Can someone give me an idea of what Delta V I should shoot for to get to and back from the moon? The gravity well on the moon is stronger than Minmus. We landed on Minmus before, but I would like to just get an idea of, of what I should be shooting for here. Google, Francis, why would I Google when I have a whole 85 people who can tell me the answer because I'm too lazy to Google? <laughs> okay, roughly eight, 200 is not helpful. 69 is not the correct answer. 6,500, 5,000, 3,000 to orbit. Okay. Okay, so 850 to TLI, 3,000 to orbit, so let's say 4,000, and then another 1,000 to get back. You think 5,000 or 6,500? People are saying 65, 1750 is not correct. Roughly 4,500 to the moon. It's not 69,000. It's not... <laughs> You say nice to the number 69 once and everyone loses their minds. All right, let's... <laughs> Need more wine. All right, so uh, let's get an engine on this guy and we will add more if we need to. Okay, 6,500. It seems like 6,500 is a really safe way to bet it because even if it's less than that, Joey B sometimes makes some inefficient maneuvers um, we will mostly, okay, let's do this. Just a tiny little, tiny little guy on there. And then let's start adding things for space. Do you think we need RCS? Cause I think maybe not, but it might be a little helpful. And the moon isn't that hard to get to. So let's just do four on the top of the vehicle and a little bit of monopropellant just a tiny amount. So under the fuel tanks, I'll grab this guy and we can move these thrusters all the way up to the top so they have a huge uh, moment arm on our center of mass. Oh, they do not have a huge moment arm. Okay, well, there you go. Um, if you bring RCS, you can limp home if you run out of fuel too. Master Brin, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, that's true. Okay, solar cells definitely needed. Um, so let's get that under 
not payload, thermal, electrical. Here we go. I don't think we really need the batteries, especially if we have solar cells. And I like the one by six. So let's do these and we'll do four, which is entirely overkill, but we can do them anyway. Um, okay, so we've got solar cells. We need some landing legs. That's important. Let's also title this. Um, thanks, Apollo, for inspiring, for going to the moon and enabling KSP live stream content. There we go. That's an appropriate name and not at all disrespectful. <laughs> okay. Um, in structural, where's legs? Ground, there we go. We just need the tiny guys. We don't need anything here. Oh my gosh, that's way too big. Okay, micro landing strut. That's kind of cool. What's happening? Stop putting 69 in the chat. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I'm a mod. I should not participate in the 69 shenanigans. Yes, Thomas, this, this is correct. Someone disliked. Who disliked this video? <laughs> Thanks, Apollo. Wait, for teaching us how to spell. Did I spell? Oh, geez. Thanax. Thanks. Thank you for the... Uh... All right, save. This is going to be a separate craft, isn't it? Uh... All right. So we've got these little landing structs. I would like to move them a little further down if possible. That's probably good enough, right? How much can they possibly compress? Let's launch. I just want to see how much they compress on in uh, curb and gravity. <laughs> All right, at least let's get something good out of the 69 meme. Can you get 69 likes? Okay, yeah, this is plenty. That's, that's fine. Um, here, just fly it for fun. We do not have enough thrust for this. What's our TWR? Oh, there goes my ice machine. What's the TWR here? And do you think I can turn the RCS on? Oops. Okay, this is garbage. Revert to VAB. Oh, it's a vacuumized option. Yeah, okay, that's right. It's, it's a vacuum optimized engine. So we don't need this. Let's go ahead and restart retracted. Um, and is this enough? Like, what am I missing currently that would prevent us from landing on the moon? We have an engine, we have legs, we have power, we have control in space. Um, we need a ladder, that's important. So let's get a little ladder on here. And, uh, well, here's an issue. Let's get rid of two of these solar panels. Let's rotate the reaction control system with this symmetry here and then replace two of these solar panels. Okay, excellent. So we've got these, we'll do symmetry like this. And now we have space for a ladder, which I think is under utility, right? Yeah, ladder. Okay, there's one. Hold on, let's zoom in a little bit. You need a Raptor engine instead of the rubbishy one. Hey, it's not rubbishy, that's not very nice. I could probably use a better engine, though. That's probably not a bad idea. Try to keep them somewhat evenly spaced. That one wasn't very evenly spaced. Okay. Um, now let's move the legs because they're in the way. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, that's good. And then we'll put some more ladder on there. Oh, and then can we do the ladder that goes down to the ground? 
Oh, that's way too big. Never mind. <laughs> we'll do ladder all the way down as far as we can go, which is that. Okay. That's good. We've got legs. We've got reaction control. We've got monopropellant. We've got solar panels. Why did I do devil's... Oh, all right. Why did I do symmetry on that? There's so, so many ladders. Uh, use the yellow ladder. This is apparently much better. Let's get rid of these. This is garbage. This is the worst day of my life. Hold on. How do I fix this? <laughs> Can we get an F in the chat for this ladder nonsense, please? Here we go. One, two, three, four. We can get rid of a lot of these. And I just want to see how long is this bad boy? Extend. Okay, not that bad. We should mount it a little further out though, right? Okay, that's far enough out. And then we'll just put ladders down to that. The ladder is becoming a problem. Um, do we need any more rungs? Can we get like one more rung in there just for fun? Okay, great. We have the ladders and then we just need to make the rest of them non-symmetry. If I just click them. Oops. If I just click them, we can get rid of the symmetry. What have I done? Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You could have just used the big one. Yeah, I could have, but this one's better. This one's cool, because we get to extend it. So retract ladder. All right, what am I missing? I've got a craft, I've got solar panels, I have Reaction control, I have fuel, I have legs, I have an engine. Let's save it again. Um, ooh, here we go, the moon. That's kind of cool. More boosters. All right, batteries might still be worth it. Do you think so? Two people said batteries. Okay, Thomas says batteries. Maybe we should do a battery. All right. How much do you think a battery weighs? Is it worth it? If we end up on the dark side of the moon, it's probably worth it. Let's give batteries a shot. It should just be one of these, right? How heavy is this? Oh, it's nothing. It doesn't cost anything. Let's let's put a battery in there. Um, that's too big. The battery will be helpful. Okay, great. A coffee maker, yeah. That's also probably helpful. All right, this should be it for our lander. Let's save it again, and let's start to build things around it. So I would like to put this inside of a fairing, um, and that's gonna be under aerodynamics. So if we grab one of these fairings. Oh, hold on. Where are these fairings? Is it not under that? Oh, so it's gonna be under payload. It's like that kind of bad boy. That's probably too big. That's probably too small. Okay. Let's do a separatron and then a fairing, right? Not a separatron. What is it called? A coupler and then a fairing. I think that's going to be the proper way to do it. Yeah, there we go. And then under payload, we'll get the fairing which can go around it. This is bigger than I really need. Wait, what do people forget it's there? Drink every time he says fairing. Oh, it's, okay, that the fairing is there, yes. Like we don't need that much. Okay, let's try this. This is ridiculous, hold on. Are we ready to launch? Let's get rid of this. I wanna see if we can get away with this tinier one. Like, I don't think we really, yeah. Like, this is doable.
Yeah, this is perfect. This this is much more. It's it's like well suited for the task. Um, he thick. <laughs> no fairing or a smaller one, Joey B. All right. Um, do another stage with the same fuel tank and engine. I would do a similar fuel tank or a larger fuel tank. Um, I would do one of these. Oh no, same fuel tank and then a larger engine, I think. Like the swivelly boy. Who's the lightest? 1.5, 3.0. Well, we're gonna be in space, so we can accept more losses. Should we just do the same one? Is this a bad idea? Does this have TVC? I think it does. Swivel. Okay, everyone give me a definitive answer. Does this have TVC? Will I be okay with the Terrier? I must be, right? I'm using it for the descent stage. If it doesn't have TVC, I'll be fine. <laughs> it has TVC, do it. Okay, we'll be okay. So we've got a tiny little stage up top. What's our Delta V at? 2,700, we do not have enough. We need more. So um, let's do a larger fuel tank on here. I'm not feeling super confident about this right now. Let's do one of these. Oh man. That feels too big to me. Okay. Nope, I'm going back to this one. And we'll just have more stages. A first stage, a second stage, and a transfer stage. The first stage can just be solid rocket motors or some type of really high energy booster. The second stage can be an airlit stage or... Hmm. Okay, no, we're using this. We're also going to put just two little solar panels on it just for fun, just in case. Wait, no we don't. We can just detach the fairing and it'll work. Okay. Reaction wheels. We don't need reaction wheels. And we have a battery too. And the reaction wheels are within the crew module. So I think I can afford to not have them. So let's get a stack decoupler here. Oh man, this is gonna be really hard to do. Um, can I use a larger one and just go to a larger stage? <laughs> That's not gonna work. Uh, okay, let's do this. Are there any fuel tanks that are tapered? I would love that. This is apparently a fuel tank, but it's not, it's too big. This is apparently a fuel tank. This is apparently a fuel tank. That's a, oh, that's a fuel tank. Yeah, okay, it's a fuel tank. Use a fairing as an inner stage. Hmm, under structure, someone says, structural. But this is a fuel tank, this is fine. I just want a big boosty boy on the bottom, you know? So let's get, um, maybe the orange boy. Where's the orange boy? Do we not have him anymore? Is he rip in peace? He might be rip in peace. Okay, we need to go further up. <laughs> Boosty boy. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. This looks like the Atlas Agena. Or like, the, what is it? The Atlas Able. There's, no, Thor Able. Thor Able is the ugliest rocket in all of history. <laughs> this looks awful. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is like, the Saturn three and a half, not Saturn five. <laughs> you can make the first stage orange, just right click it. Can I really? Ooh, nice, excellent. SLS, no, I'm going back to black and white. It's an Apollo mission, I have to. 
Thank you for the tip, though. Poor Thor Abel. <laughs> hey, everyone, put it in the chat. What is the... Oh, my gosh, we have 100 people. Um, what's the ugliest rocket? Like, what's truly the ugliest rocket? It has to have flown, and it has to be orbital. Um, okay, cool. So this is good. I think we could do another stage here. Let's see, what do we put, like the Rhino on this or something? Or the mainsail? Where's the Rhino? The mainsail is probably what we'd use. Okay, so this brings us all the way up here to 59. So let's just add another section of fuel tank for this one stage. Ah, actually, you know what? If this is enough, we should just do it. I would rather not overspec it because I, I tend to overspec it, spec things. So let's do this. We'll do, oh, you know what else I'm gonna add, by the way, is struts on the, um, this part right here. It's gonna look ridiculous, but I promise it's gonna be worth it. Otherwise, this boy is gonna be so wiggly. There we go. Okay, we've got that. We also need the main sail. All right, let's see what people think is the is the ugliest rocket. And then while we're um, while we're looking at that, let's let's truly look at what is actually the ugliest rocket so far. <laughs> people think the N one. The N one's not ugly. The N one's dope. The lipstick rocket or red arrow or uh, black arrow. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's that wasn't fair. Hey, Francis. Francis says Scout V01. I disagree. Atlas three. <laughs> the Arc one. <laughs> um, the Delta. It looks like a Q-tip. Mercury Redstone is not at all ugly. F in the chat or I don't know. A in the chat, please, for angry. Because Mercury Redstone is not an ugly rocket. Space Shuttle is a little bit crazy. So I use 2.1. Is that the one without the boosters? Because yes. Um, <laughs> insert inappropriate joke here. New Shepard. Yeah, a little bit. New Shepard makes sense aerodynamically, but not aesthetically. No, the N1 is not ugly. Stop putting N1. <laughs> Titan 3B. Agena. Oh, wait, I looked that one up a while ago. Hold on, let me just go into my browser here. I did look up the Titan 3B the other day and realize, like, or the Titan 3B Agena. Yeah, the Titan 3B Agena is disgusting. Hold on. Look at this thing. Um, let me just switch windows here. Hold on one second. Look at this rocket right now. Tell me this isn't like the ugliest thing you've ever seen. Like, what is this? This looks like a, um, what's the one that North Korea launched, their, their orbital vehicle? It's not Nodong, it's, uh, it's like Juche or something. Uh, I don't know, the Titan III is dope though. Okay, anyway, we have to go back to uh, Kerbal Space Program where this is nonsense right now. <laughs> All right. Hold on, so let's go back. Disgusting, everyone says. Oh, Unha, thank you, JR Craft. Yeah, the Unha rocket. We're almost out of wine. Yeah, this is disgusting, but we need a couple more boosters here, I think. So we've got plenty of fuel tanks. Let's just get some solids on the, uh, on the side here. They'll be nice and high energy. Um, okay, so everyone hates when I do this, but I don't care. <laughs> That's how I will introduce what I'm about to do here. Is it utility? It's not utility. It must be structural, right? Or de Oh, coupling. Everyone hates when I use the TT-70, but it's so cool to have the boosters, like, far apart. I don't... Y'all can get as mad as you want. I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, and then we have, we can either, either use the thumper, which will get us all the way to 6,600, or what I would like to do is use these 
and go hard and get to 7,500 meters per second, which we don't need, just so we're clear, but I'm doing it anyway. And we may need fins. <laughs> Make a rocket that destroys itself. Well, because we have all this extra Delta V, now we can do cool things with like separatrons and stuff like that. All right, so under aerodynamics, we're gonna give it a little nose cap on each one of these little boosters. No, you know what? Screw it. If we're gonna make this disgusting looking, we might as well go all in and give them super pointy. This is awful. Okay, hold on. I just wanna get another good view of this. Let's, um. Let me just save this really quick and put it on the launch pad. <laughs> what do you mean, why don't I have a parachute? I do have parachutes. There's one in the command module. <laughs> Two people dislike this video. Who are you? Look at how gross this looks. This is, this is the worst thing. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a good shot of this. <laughs> there. This is the screenshot. I'm gonna make this the screenshot of the video. And I have to, this is gonna be the screenshot. This is why I'm doing this. Okay, great. You have to, you have to do a little clickbait. Should we test it just for fun? It looks like the first thing we have here is the fairings. So we'll get rid of those. I'm sure everyone hates those. That's good news for most folks. And then the boosters. Ooh, baby Benden. All right, no, we're not doing this right now. Revert to BAB. <laughs> Joe.exe has stopped working. <laughs> okay. So, um, we've got this stuff. We'll have to check our staging. I would like to put some more struts on here so they don't bend. Um, I would like to also get a little closer. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Here we go, from this line right here, up to the top, and then from this line, up to the top. <laughs> all of the struts, folks, all of the struts. Hear me when I say it, all of them. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. And there we go. Ooh, this is disgusting. Disgusting. All right. It's ugliness deserves visible struts. You're correct, Mark. I hate this, which means it's almost ready to launch. We need some fins that can actuate. Um, they're movable. Yeah, so this is what we want. I just need some amount of aerodynamic control because if we're gonna use just the boosters at some point, then I want aerodynamic control. So we've got those. And now let's let's save and then check our staging here. So the fairings don't really matter. The first stage needs the boosters, and I think the liquid engine too, we're just gonna burn hard right off the bat. The fairings come when we separate uh, the boosters. We also, let's get some separatrons in there. We should have those. Even though we don't really need them, it's kind of fun to have them. So we'll do separatron here and Separatron here. And then we will rotate them. Remove some ablator to save Delta V. Can you tell me, General Aerospace, could you tell me how to remove the ablator or what, what you mean by that? Okay, and then using the rotation tool, we will rotate all of these so they point inward. Same with this guy right here.
Okay, that's good. And the separatrons are going to fire uh, when we decouple. Yes, right here. No, this is the decouple. The separatrons need to fire here. Okay, great. Separatron, separatron, decouple, and fairing. You know what? Screw it. I'm putting the fairings up here so that they don't actually blow up. Um, uh, let's see. Right-click on the heat shield. Oh, like of the return capsule? I don't think I need to do that. I don't need that much ablator. I probably don't, but I also have an incredible amount of Delta V. Oh, I'm down on Delta V. I think I've added too much. How much do these weigh? Wow, these weigh a surprising amount. Okay, let's take the Separatrons off. Sorry, folks. We ate into the Delta V more than I thought we would. 64. Uh, what have I changed here? Maybe it's just the staging? Should I light this upper? Oh, okay, yeah. No, it has to do with that. So, never mind. I can't really undo. Okay, we've got the Separatrons back. They're gonna go up near the separation. Hold on, just bear with me, everyone. So now we have a low Delta V, but if I light, apparently if I light the liquid booster when we separate these, or perhaps later on in the flight, let's add another stage where we light the liquid booster. Um, and then we separate. Please get rid of the parachute. No, I'm not getting rid of the parachute. Uh, okay. So we have plenty of Delta V now. We're lighting this in the air and then we separate. Apparently if we light it here, it's better. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to that. <laughs> Joe, do it for crap. What, no, I'm not gonna get rid of the parachutes. <laughs> Concern Rocketeers against parachutes is a thing that I don't know, that guy from BPS, he has this weird program that he thinks is really funny called Crap. I don't know why he thinks it's so funny, but that guy, whatever, he's, I think he's a phony. All right, um, so, so we've got our launch vehicle here. What am I missing? Can some, Can everyone just give me a sanity check on what I might be missing? Stop saying crap in the chat. <laughs> What am I missing right now? If you remove the parachutes, you will have more Delta V. Yes, but also no. <laughs> antenna, I don't need that. I don't need the antenna. Stop saying crap, oh my God. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I have to pee pretty bad. So I'm gonna go to a very quick intermission. I also need to get more wine and then we're gonna launch this bad boy and it's gonna be awful. We're gonna go to the moon, we're gonna return. I'm keeping the parachutes. Listen to me, look at, the, look at me. I'm keeping the parachutes. Stop telling me to get rid of the parachutes. All right, Joey B is losing his mind. So I'll go to the bathroom, I'll get more wine, and I'll be right back. Do not go away.
All right. What up, pals? <clears throat> Joey B back. Went to the bathroom. I'm all relieved. I, uh, next person to say crap gets a, an envelope filled with mayonnaise mailed directly to their home address. Enough with the crap. <laughs> that's BPS's thing. That guy who runs BPS, that's his thing. That's not mine. All right. <laughs> so, um, this is the situation that we're dealing with right now. We've got the, this, this disgusting looking rocket, and I think we're ready to go. We have 62, oh, hold on. This is less than we had before. What happened while I was in the bathroom? Am I gonna make it with this? It says 6,200. How can I calculate this? Okay, I need someone who really knows KSP to tell me. It says 6,200. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Why does it keep going down? Something is wrong. We have these four solid rocket motors. What's happening? Okay, hold on. Click. Can I deselect all of these? Why did it go down? What happened? <laughs> More fo what's ah uh, what's going on? Remove the separatrons. Hold on. I'm so curious. Why did we go down to three thousand? <laughs> Chad has decided the rocket will be called Devil's Climaxes. I don't think that's what I've decided. Although, if the chat decided it, I will probably have to honor it. I don't... Okay, so that's apparently sea level ISP. If we go back to the VAB, let's look back at our regular ISP. Joe, it's good, says Plasmanium. I, like, I believe you. I just want to... Ooh, that's a fancy thing. So, altitude... This is so confusing. In vacuum, which is where most of these things will be spent, there's 6,200. Stop putting food in the chat. What is this? <laughs> You're good. The game's broken. Okay. Just put a yes or a no. Am I good to launch? Yes or no? I'm landing on the moon and trying to come back. Bro, I really need this bro. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Food. Stop putting food in the chat. <laughs> okay, I'm losing my mind. The wine isn't helping, but it's a lot of streaming today. <sighs> All right, here we go. Let's give it a shot. Everyone says yes. Except for Boss Biddle. Bospital. I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. I'm going to the hospital. I'm getting an endoscopy. They're going to stick a camera down my throat. It's going to be great. All right. Let's turn throttle up. SAS on. And so we're just, we're just going to light the solids on the ground. We should check our staging. Solids on the ground. Liquid in the air. Then the fairings, which I... Okay, let's go back to VAB and check the staging. I have to, <laughs> I have to get this correct. Yes, Thomas, at least it's not a colonoscopy. That doesn't have to happen until I'm like 50. All right, um, here we go. One, two is the main engine. And then we do the separatrons to separate the stage as well as actually separate the stage. We've got these fairings, which I'm going to move up here because I don't want them to actually blow up until it doesn't really matter. They don't need to blow up. We light the second stage. We separate and then light the second stage. I actually would like to separate, light the second stage, and get these fairings in the same stage. The next thing that happens is the fairing deploys. 
which to be honest should happen at some other point. Um, but then we have a separation event with the motor. Um, I probably can disable staging and fairings, but I'm not doing it right now. Okay, so that's probably fine, although it's probably going to be a critical moment, so I'm going to combine those two things. And then separation with the heat shield and finally splash down. Okay, save and launch. What is... What is with the food in the chat? I do not understand this at all. Like, I didn't understand the crabs when they happened, but I understand the food even less. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Why is this so funny? Hamburger, chicken, taco, pork, soup, clams, pizza rolls, bagel bites, burrito, pizza, pork, dog oh that's not food stop this is awful all right are we ready can i get a three two one in the chat please <laughs> give me a three two one here we go three two one punch it it's a pretty cool sound all right so we've got these fins and if you look close down below at these fins, they actually move. So this is how we will change our orientation. Oh, we didn't check where the moon was. Well, that's just gonna have to happen later on, isn't it then? We're gonna turn this vehicle nice and sideways. Don't call stage separation. What are you talking about? It's not time for that. I will say the struts are helping quite a bit. Um, toward keeping us nice and uh, rigid. There's, this is not a floppy boy. He not bouncing too much. My frame rate is definitely dropping though. Wow, it's really low. It's like surprisingly low. Uh, it should be fine. It's just a slightly low frame rate today. I guess that's kind of where we're at right now. I have a Mac Pro, but I also need to reset it. It's been a little while since I've done that, and that feels like it's probably a good idea at this point. All right. I would say we're probably somewhere near max Q. <laughs> this has got to be like eight frames a second or something. The, uh, the FPS should really rise up once we get rid of these boosters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the liquid engine. We're all throttled up, so here we go. Pay attention to that center engine right now. And the liquid engine is going to start so that we can basically be firing when we detach those solids. We're also fairly high up in the atmosphere. We're still kind of pushing hard against the, uh, the air, but let's give this a shot. This chat is a mess. <laughs> All right, we're almost out of solid fuel here. And as soon as we hit that limit, as soon as we uh, run out of fuel, I'm gonna detach these boosters. And there they go. Nice. Love the separatrons. And now our frame rate is rising. So we're, we're coming back up on the frame rate. Booster set confirmed. We are going pretty fast here. Okay, that's fine. I would like to start going a little bit more sideways. We're at 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, cool. I'm just looking at altitude here. We should be out of the atmosphere fairly quickly. So I'd like to start burning to the side. We're at, okay, this is plenty. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off. There we go. And then we're gonna put a maneuver at our apoapsis. Now our, ap our apogee is pretty steep. We spent a lot of time going up. 
so we don't have a lot of horizontal velocity, so we're probably going to have to burn pretty hard here to circularize our orbit. Um, now let's go back here and re-maneuver to our maneuver node. We have plenty of fuel for this. Let's go ahead and deploy this right here. To be frank, I'm a little worried that... <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty worried about this. I feel like we put too much fuel not in the lander. What is with the food? Cereal. Indian curry takeaway. Joey bag of donuts. <laughs> Thomas, I think it's just you with the food now, man. All right, let's extend these. We have a node in about three minutes. Let's extend our solar panels, make sure we have some power. And then let's move to our maneuver node and we can use some of that reaction control propellant. That should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. All right, great. Now I'll turn the reaction control system off. Now we have some reaction wheels to work with. Our burn is 23 seconds long, which means that at roughly T minus um, 12 seconds, we'll start the burn. Um, and so I'm looking down at where, right, oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops, waited a little too long. <laughs> Joe, do you say Macca's or McDonald's? I said McDonald's. I think Macca's though is an Australia thing. This is hands down the weirdest meme I've ever seen is just putting food in the chat. Like I don't, I don't really hate it. It's just super weird. Okay, there we go. That's close enough. It wasn't a very good uh, orbit insertion. Uh, there we go. So we're, we're in orbit now. Let's check that. And we're heading to the moon. So let's set the moon as our target. Beans. Why no super chats? This channel doesn't have super chat eligibility yet. Um, it should at some point, but I don't have enough watch hours. So I don't know, just like leave my videos on repeat for a billion years or don't, it's fine. It's like, I don't think the super chats would matter that much on this channel. Okay, so we're looking for intercepts with the moon. And what I'd like to do is I think burn at the periaps, right? Do I do I want to burn at the periaps or apoaps? Um, where should I burn? I can't remember which one is the more efficient option. <laughs> this is awful. Periaps always. Okay. This is great news because the periaps is coming up pretty soon. So what I'm going to do is set this equal to the moon's orbit, and then we will use the normal and anti-normal stuff to actually dial in how we get there. This is a trick I learned last time. Oop, oop, hold on. Here's an encounter. The moon closest approach is 2,000 kilometers, which is pretty good. I think this is good enough. Closest approach. I just want to look at this on the map. Wow, this is a crazy orbit here. It'll be fine, but it's just a crazy orbit. Okay, so node in T minus four minutes and we burn for 11 seconds. We have too much fuel, ladies and gentlemen. Enough with the food. What is up with the food? This is so weird. <sighs> I'm hungry. All right. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Can we get a psh psh in the chat for the reaction control system? Wow. 
It's pretty accurate. It's better than mine. All right, there we go. We've got plenty of mono propellant left. <laughs> I'm eating ranch veggie straws. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. Okay, so let's move our node down at the bottom here. I'm gonna move this. We need to burn at roughly six seconds. This one I'd like to be fairly accurate about. This is TLI, so can we get a go for TLI in the chat, please? That's translunar insertion. All right, go for TLI. We were at the right attitude. We're gonna throttle up at roughly six seconds. Go for TMI, that's not the right thing. Here we go. We're burning. And... Oops! Ooh, look at that! 0.3 meters per second. That is great. That is very accurate. So we definitely have an encounter with the moon. And uh, we should be all set to go here. Wow, that's great. All right, cool. Let's start coasting. All right, here's our craft. We'd be coasting for sure. And then once we hit moon periaps, we'll uh we'll burn retrograde and start to uh Are we on clocks now? The heck is this? <laughs> this is so confusing. All right, so this is our periaps here. We don't have to burn until we're. Let's let's wait until we're in the moon sphere of influence, and then we'll actually burn. This I I swear, I'm gonna disable the chat if you keep putting food and clocks in the chat. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Now we're in the moon sphere of influence. <laughs> so let's add a maneuver here. And we're just going to... Oh, what is this? This is super weird. Uh, okay, let's just advance to the periaps and start to burn there. So I, can I really not add a maneuver that just, oh, there we go, that's what I wanted. All right, so the orbital plane doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna put our periaps nice and low. So 66, yeah, and then we can just lower from there. We brought way too much fuel with us. You know what? I say, screw it. All right, there we go. We don't need this stage anymore. We had too much fuel anyway. Can we get an F for the stage, please? Which is gonna be in orbit for a while now. <laughs> Thank you for the Fs. Thank you very much. We're going up in viewers. This is blowing my mind. All right, so we have a burn for 40 seconds. Once again, we have a burn for 40 seconds, which means we want to start the burn at 20 seconds, which is about halfway through. Um, now the node is in T minus 33 minutes, so we're gonna fast forward just a little bit. This is pretty fast. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, this is great. So we're burning retrograde. And once again, we're gonna start that burn at T minus 20. So here we go. Seven, six, T minus five, four, three, two, one, burn. All 
All right, here we go. Are we doing shoes now? Is that what is that what's going on here? We're doing types of shoes. That's that's what the chat wants. This is a mystery to me, folks. It's a mystery to me. Yeah, looks like we're doing shoes. <laughs> I don't know why this happened. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, that's a good burn. All right, we're in orbit. So now what I would like to do is just go straight to the landing. And I don't care too much about where I land. I just want to land where the sun is shining right now. So uh, let's just do one of these and bring our periaps down all the way to 6,000 meters. And then we'll just adjust from there. Um, so let's head to the maneuver node. We have plenty of monopropellant. We have so much. Are we just doing numbers now? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we have plenty of mon monopropellant. Let's uh, quick save again. Thank you, chat, for the suggestion to quick save. That's a good idea. We have a node in T minus 43 minutes, which means it's time to fast forward again. Thirty minutes. Twenty minutes. Three, ten minutes. And three, two, one, and okay, great. So we've got the reaction control system on. Great. It's gonna settle out there. Our burn time is 11 seconds, which means that I would like to start it at six seconds, T minus six seconds, right down here at the node. Looks like we're on letters now in the chat. We're just, diff we're just saying letters. That seems to be the case. Again, still have no idea why. Seven, six, and we're burning. Burning retrograde, trying to land. Don't want to overshoot it on this one. Okay, great. Stop, I overshot by about 0.3 meters per second, which I would say is acceptable. So now we get to pick where I would like to land. And I think if I burn retrograde, I'm still pretty much close to the apogee and I just throttle up a bit. I wanna watch my periaps here and see, yeah, here we go, three, two, one. Okay, that's perfect because it means we'll probably land somewhere around here based on wherever we burn. <laughs> can we just, can we just have a regular chat? for like a minute also congrats everyone on reaching 69 likes um i don't know if that's gonna hold but congratulations this it's become a whole meme in itself oh boy all right so we're here i'd like to start my burn right around here so let's go ahead and just maneuver to that and if we decouple any of the stages thank you someone for for messing with the uh the light count that's very helpful so if we decouple any of the stages they're now going to slam into the uh they're going to slam into the moon we have plenty of fuel to actually descend right now so i think we should begin Maybe a little further. Let's change the uh, the thing to surface here. So we've got 558 meters per second to, uh, to bleed off right here relative to the surface. 
And then I would also like altitude to be based on the land. That's helpful for landing. So should we start to burn retrograde? <laughs> Matthew K, I will not say that on stream. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's burn retrograde. And I would be cool landing in any of these areas. Um, if we burn retrograde to the surface, we're gonna bleed off both our horizontal and vertical velocity. Let's let's just give it a little bit further. I kind of want to land in like these highlands here. All right, and that should be plenty. Are we doing countries now? Looks like we're doing countries. Once again, I am. It's it's unclear to me where these things are coming from. Let's burn. Re oh, this is a beautiful shot. Let's burn retrograde. Here we go. Three, two, one. So we are burning against the surface. Boy, we're bleeding off. This is probably an acceptable rate. Um, mostly what I want to do is see if my attitude changes. It's hard to tell if my attitude is changing right now. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so my attitude is changing. That's good news for me. Let's burn a little more. And let's get this right in the middle of, of this area right here. Okay, great. So we're going to follow this ballistic arc currently. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're aiming toward a pretty flat area. And we're going to run out of fuel. So this is really good news. This is exactly what I want. Let's burn it, let's burn it all off. Okay, fuel's gone. Okay, there goes the stage. We're coming down very slowly. Let's go ahead and get our gear out. So if I toggle the gear action group. Gear is out. I'm turning RCS on as well for added stability. We're about 1500 meters above the surface. I'm feeling good. There's our stage, <laughs> which we used all of the propellant for. So it actually turned out to be a pretty good deal. I don't know what that was. I'm not sure what that explosion was. That is unclear to me. <laughs> Getting a decent amount of gravity losses. No, what do you mean, Alex? Use the shoot, Joe. No. This chat used to be helpful, and now it is just one big meme. And, like, I don't totally mind it. <laughs> like, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> but now it's just, like, now it's just, like, garbage. Okay, here we go. Okay, touching down real soft. Oops. And touchdown. RCS is active, RCS off, and we're down. F5, quick save, everyone. Contact light. 
Joey B. Let's get out of here. Extend lander. Extend ladder, not lander. Look at it go! I love that. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do an EVA. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. F. How do I go down? There we go. All right, we're going down. Yeah, can we get an S in the chat for a totally, totally, totally successful moon landing? Let's plant a flag. Thank you for the S in the chat, by the way. Now the mission is not over. Oh, I forgot, I still I don't have the BPS flag. Apollo wannabe. Wouldn't it be cool if this required anywhere near the skill that it takes to actually get to the, to the moon? There we go. That's our new site. We're going to take a surface sample. We're not going to remove our helmet. We're going to do an EVA report. You start to say something dramatic and poignant about the plight of the Kerbal Kind, of, of Kerbal Kind in this grand universe, only to be cut off by random radio chatter that the situation is nominal. <laughs> Classic. Keep. All right. Should we leave? We got to the moon. Let's quick save. I feel like we should leave now. I feel like it kind of be that time, you know? I'm not removing the helmet. Don't tell me to remove the helmet. <laughs> I'm out of wine, which means it's time to go back. Here we go. Oops. That's not good. Hold on. F. Grab. And go up. There we go. Going up and board. Okay, slow mode. Should I really put slow mode on? If you want, I will put slow mode on, but I'm gonna make the slow mode like five minutes. So do I do slow mode or do I not do slow mode? Yes or no? Yes for slow mode, no for no slow mode. I feel like I feel like it's kind of fun without the slow mode, but we'll see. Yes. The vast majority say no. I'm I'm not gonna do slow mode, but just know I feel like I should. <laughs> so let's look at the map here, and we don't really need to target the Earth. Like any orbit we pick around the moon, we can just extend to re-enter the Earth at that angle. So I think we don't need to do this. So let's just go up and to the right. I'm gonna take a screenshot here. Ah! Okay, that was unexpected. I didn't mean to do that at all. Should have shut down the engine. Let's retract the gear. Oh, SAS isn't on. Hold on, there we go. <laughs> Let's quick save, F5. Wow, this is a disgusting orbit. We can just change the orbit. We don't have a lot of fuel left though. All right, let's stop. Add maneuver. 
Where's our periaps? 11,000 meters. 27. 32 is plenty. All right, let's go to our maneuver node. And once again, if we if we can't, you know, do this, we can turn. Okay, we have a burn for eight seconds in six minutes. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So we'll burn at four seconds or at the maneuver node. And we're ready to go. We'll just let it play. <laughs> Everyone said no to the slow mode. Hold on, let's go to, let's do this burn and then I'll turn on slow mode. I just want to circularize. Great, that's plenty. Okay, now at the periaps, how can we possibly get back to Kerbin? This is not, I said that we could use any orbit, but this is obviously not true because we're gonna have to burn in a ridiculous manner to get back to Kerbin. Can I just do this? <laughs> what periapsis is this? Kerbin? Maybe I should just change my orbit around the moon. You don't, okay, don't use the normal mode. Here's the thing, I don't actually have that much propellant left. Can I just do this? Add. If I do that, I'll be better in the plane with the Earth. Is that okay? Like, and then I can. All right, enough with the slow mode. I'll turn it on, my goodness. Y'all can't handle anything. <laughs> Let's turn on slow mode. Enable slow mode and put it to 10 seconds. Can we all handle this? <laughs> all right, slow mode is on every 10 seconds. So, this requires a 37 second burn. I don't, I need to get something better than this though. I super, super, super regret getting into this orbit. I feel like we do need to burn normal for this to work. Burn retrograde. Oh, that's interesting. Burn retrograde to the moon's orbit around Kerbin. Yeah, that works. That totally works. Okay. This is a shorter burn, and it definitely gets us there. Okay, let's 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 redo this. I'm okay burning here, and so we're burning retrograde to the moon's orbit, and it doesn't matter where exactly the periapse is to me too much. <clears throat> because we can refine things further out. So two million miles is okay. Your speed is going to be quite fast at periaps. That's okay. 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. We have to get home, and I've quick saved enough. I'm okay with this. So we have a node in T minus five minutes and about 50 seconds, uh, and it burns for 19 seconds, which means we will burn at T minus 10. I always burn just a little bit early because I usually try to taper it off at the end. Okay, 30. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay. And we're just gonna use the rest of our fuel and a lot of RCS to really bleed this stuff off and keep our entry angle really shallow, right? So that's, that's the approach here. We're now going to be leaving the moon and going into a very eccentric orbit around Kerbin. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is horrifying. Let's burn retrograde a little bit. And let's just see if we can get our periaps down. I should have done this sooner, but uh, it'll work, it'll be okay. Let's just look at our fuel too. We're definitely running out of fuel. Our periaps is at 27. That might be a little steep. Let's burn just slightly prograde. So I just want to burn. I think that's good. I think that's probably fine. Like that should be okay. It won't be great. Hold on, let me uh, let me just refresh some stuff here. Still have 105 people watching. That's crazy. So this should be okay. And what we'll do here? Oh, that's a that's too fast of a time warp. My goodness. Okay, just stability. And we're gonna I think burn retrograde. We might come down on land. Actually, probably not. Okay. So we're coming in here. This is gonna be fast. So it's good that I got rid of the ablator. Should I ditch the stage, everyone? Is it a good idea to separate the capsule? Okay, dark target says separate the capsule. Burn now if you're going to. I don't think I need to. Let's go normal. All right, we're separating. We are gonna come in really hot and fast. Let's disable the engine. Goodbye stage. And then let's uh, reorient to prograde or no, retrograde, and then turn on stability assist, turn off RCS and SAS, and we're just gonna let everything do its work. I'm gonna press F5, probably should have pressed F5 sooner. I'm not gonna nosedive. No, don't tell me to nosedive, I won't do it. <laughs> Goodbye, stage. Good luck, buddy. Thanks for the hard work. Oh boy, we're coming really hot here. I am worried about this, folks. Let me tell you what. Joe, make a ballistic missile in KSP. <laughs> Honestly, that could be kind of fun. Oh, we're still in time warp, huh? 
Oh no, we're out of space. So the music turned off. If it's below 4,000 meters per second, you will be fine. Well, we're below 4,000, but not that far below. These ladders are gonna blow up for sure. Oh, I think their stage is gone. Let's watch the stage. <laughs> Here's the stage. There's the capsule. Do the explode. Do the explode. I'm kind of loving this. Just looking at the, the capsule. Oh! The heat is very high on the capsule, and I am not loving how high it is. Our apogee is, or per, our periaps is definitely getting lower, which means we should be good for an actual landing, but our heat is very high. Oh, I hate this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not feeling confident about this re-entry. I'm feeling... Okay, it's going down. Is the ladder gone? <laughs> the ladder is still there. Oh, wait, the ladder is the thing heating up. Wow. Hey, that's great. Well, the ladder stayed on. Okay, we're coming in then. We're down to about 1,100 meters per second. <gasps> We're slowing down. Open the parachute at 1,000 meters per second. Nathan, that is unhelpful. I will not be doing that. I think... I think we're gonna make it. I really didn't think it would work, but I think we will. I'm not gonna eject. Stop telling me to eject. <laughs> All right. I think parachute under, get out of my ear. <laughs> Shoot now, you think? We're at 11,000, that's plenty. Never do that again. All right, F5. We're not really going down too much further, so shoot out. Shoots out. Still coming down hot. Down 200 meters per second. 190, 180 and 2,000 meters, 170, and 1,000 meters. Oh! <gasps> it worked! It worked! Oh my gosh. We did it. Now we just have to splash down. I'm not even gonna time warp to splash down. I'm just gonna wait because this is a glorious moment for Joey B. I've had several failed missions in KSP and I want all of you to wait. No one's allowed to leave this live stream right now. If you leave the live stream, I'll find you and you'll regret it. So don't do it. And I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to let it speak for itself. Okay, there's a lot of text messages coming in right now. This is going to ruin the moment, but... Yes! Yes! It's Joey B! 
be. Thank you, everyone. Sorry, chair. Oh. I did it. Let's recover. Recover vessel. We went to the moon and back. Amazing. <laughs> Cringe master 2000. Yeah, that's about correct. All right, we did it. Well, I think that's all from Joey B right now. I went to the moon, I came back. It was a glorious mission filled with wonder and splendor and all, all that is good. <laughs> all right, can I answer any questions for everyone just in the meantime, like one or two questions before I sign off here? This has been like, I don't know, five hours of streaming or something like that. Joe Barnard, will that multi-stage Saturn V thing you were thinking about ever get made? It sounded cool. Probably at some point, like, it will get made. But it's expensive and complicated and requires its own launch pad. So maybe not for a little while. Um, <laughs> you're drunk? No, I'm not drunk, but I have had two glasses of wine and I'm a lightweight, so I'm not sober. That's what I can tell you. When is the next KSP live? I don't know. I'm doing a live stream, hopefully in a couple of days, where we build a um, the Thump rocket, the rocket that's going to launch out of the silo. And so if it works out, it would be cool to do a KSP after hours for that too. <laughs> Duna or bust. Have you ordered the par? Oh, have you ordered the parts for the secret project yet? Nathan, no, but I did have a call. So I think I've mentioned this a couple of times now. I had a call with a company that develops really high precision IMUs. And I basically, we're not entirely there yet. They haven't actually shipped it but I'm in the final stages of getting that secured. And so we should have a really high precision IMU that will allow for one to two minute flight times under just gyros, um, which is great. Uh, Cause right now I can't achieve that with the current gyros. Um, and like GPS, INS, AHRS, all the stuff that you want. Um, I cannot tell the company, I don't, I don't want to tell the company until it's actually finalized, just in case that, you know, it doesn't, it falls through. Sometimes the stuff falls through at the last minute. Um, can we get a kiss goodnight? <laughs> yes, Joe. Once again, great, great name, Joe. I'll give you, I'll give you all a kiss goodnight. This is so weird, but you also spent the whole chat and the whole live stream putting food in the chat, so I'm not really allowed to talk about what is weird and what isn't. So, good night, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Most of you probably joined both streams, um, and so it means a lot to me, <laughs> even no matter how much, how much ridiculousness this is. Um, you can look forward pretty soon to the Falcon Heavy launching. Um, that is definitely coming up. We, we just finished the pad, and so um, the next step there is to just fully prep the vehicle, so pyros, motors, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, that's all from me for now. Anyway, once again, I don't have a sign-off for this channel, so I'll give you all a kiss goodnight. <laughs> Hold on, let me find the outro screen. All right, goodnight, everyone. <laughs>